what you're thinking. Hi guys, Oppo just showed its crazy new 240 watts fast charging solution that can give you a full charge from 0 to 100 in under 10 minutes. We're also going to talk about the benchmark of the MediaTek Dimensity 9000 that's already on a device and it beat the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. But before we get into it, definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't to get daily tech updates and drop a like if you enjoyed the video. So we've seen a a lot of crazy fast charging solution in recent years 100 watts 120 and even 160 but this 240 watts fast charging from oppo is the craziest so far the tech was announced and demoed in the just concluded mobile world congress and it can charge a 4500 milliamp hours battery from 0 to 100 in just nine minutes Oppo claims the tech can charge from 0 to 50% in just 3 and a half minutes. So the remaining 50% is gonna be in about 5 and a half minutes. But this is for a 4500 milliamp hours battery. A 5000 milliamp hours battery will most likely take about 10 or 11 minutes, which is still crazy fast. But what about the battery health? Well, the device isn't available yet. This is just a demo. But we do have an idea of what it's gonna be like because Oppo also announced a 150 watts charging solution that's gonna be available in the second half of 2022. And that 150 watts can charge a phone from 0 to 100% in just 15 minutes. And it's gonna be able to retain about 80% of its battery health after 1600 charge cycles. So if you charge from 0 to 100 twice a day, it's gonna take a little over two years for the battery health to drop to 80%, which I think is is a pretty good deal especially since you're gonna be able to get 50% in about five minutes and that's gonna be really helpful for a quick top up before stepping out now the oppo x5 pro that was just announced uses the snapdragon 8 gen 1 in the global market and the mediatek dimensity 9000 in china and the dimensity 9000 was just benchmarked and it beat the snapdragon 8 gen 1 in both single and multi-core scores now the prime core and performance scores are clocked a little bit higher than the snapdragon 8 gen 1 but it just kind of shows how superior tsmc's fabrication process is compared compared to Samsung's. And this is gonna be even more obvious if there's a huge performance and efficiency difference between the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and the 8 Gen 1 Plus. Because the 8 Gen 1 was built on Samsung's 4 nanometer fabrication process and the 8 Gen 1 Plus is gonna be built on TSMC's fabrication process. So we'll have to wait and see. There are rumors that the first batch of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus is gonna be available from the second quarter of 2020. 22. So we're just a few months away and I'll be sure to cover it. So definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss it. And drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.